Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to NBA 2K20. Today, we are catching up from PAX Friday on um, the main card. Um, we were very excited about the Terrence Ross, and rightfully so, that card's absolutely a monster. Big news on him, by the way. But the main card was the Pink Diamond Will Chamberlain. And frankly, don't see a lot of videos about him out there. I guess a lot of people were more <laughs> interested in the Terrence Ross. So let's catch up. Let's do this gameplay. Boom! 96 overall Will Chamberlain looks very cool. You can run him at the power forward or center. I don't know how effective he'd be at power forward, but you know, whatever. 98 offensive, 97 defensive, 7 1. Very, very nice. My main gripe right now is it's a pink diamond, and we have we have sapphire cards that have as many Hall of Fame badges as this card. Can they, can they get a less a little less stingy, please? It's already bad enough the mode is suffering a little bit right now. Could you spice it up a bit? Could he at least get five? Is five too much to ask? Five. I know, yeah, Sapphire Shaq has three Hall of Fame badges, but enough griping. Pick and roller, relentless finisher, drop stepper, post spin technician, brick wall. He's got 18 other box. He's got some really good ones here. Pogo stick, rebound chaser, intimidator, trapper, worm, defensive leader. He's an alpha dog. Looking great there. Now, checking out the stats. 86 driving layup, 95 post fade, 95 post hook, 95 draw foul, 70 mid-range. That's always a good thing. 85 driving dunk, 95 standing. He's got pretty decent passing for his center. 70 steal for his center is not bad. 95 block, 95 interior, rebounding off the charts, 85 speed. That is something that is glitchy right there. Strength of a 95, lateral quickness 59. Defense of a 90, 98 offensive. I mean, this card looks absolutely glitchy for your traditional center. Real question, does he play glitchy? Is about 300K to 80? Is he worth that price? It's only one way to find out. Let's get some gameplay. All right, it looks like we found an opponent. Who are we going up against? LeBrow. LeBrow, I'll take LeBrow. He's got a he's got a big center in Dikembe Mutombo. Should be fun to see how Will Chamberlain handles that. Looks like a pretty decent team here. Let's get to work. Here we go. We got the pink diamond Wilt the Stilt. The big Chalata. Oh, man. I don't really know what to do here. I don't know. We'll see how good I am with traditional centers. All right. Let's go. Let's go. His main thing right away is going to be the speed. So I'm just going to back in Matumbo. See if I can really go. Oh, yeah. Based in it. Based in all of Oh, God. Like I said, I'm going to try and play the way I want to play. But, yeah. Oh, my God, dude. Man, this Matumbo is owning me right now. Can we try post fade? There we go. If at first you don't succeed, never give up. Struggling. We are on Struggle Street. Welcome to Struggle Street because that's where we are right now. I'm going right in. Oh, my God. There we go. Dude, this guy's so fast, you can definitely get some good driving done with him. Free throw is always easy, and it greens. Easy. All right, going out to Wilt. See if we can get this uh, alley-oop. Oh, I love it. It's too fast. Matumbo, no chance. What a block by Matumbo. He came roaring in there like a hurricane. Get it? Hurricane? I don't know what that was meant to get. Oh, my God, dude. Matumbo is owning his ass. Not today. <laughs> Time to bring in the bench, man. We are struggling right now. We are definitely struggling. Look it out to the Diamond Terrence Ross, who is green lights. Can't wait to show you that gameplay later. Up to Terrence Ross. Terrence Ross, we're on a runner. We're on a runner. Get out of my face. How is that not? Like, what? How do you get a call in this game? How? Terrence Ross, I'm going to be looking for the Will Chamberlain here, who's just too fast for Matumbo. Get out of my way, Matumbo. You freaking snail. Rebound by George Mike and throwing it up to this Dr. J. Let me show you what this guy can do. Let me show you what this guy can do. Over there, out to Ibaka. See if we can maybe get a pick and fade here. That would be lovely. Or I'll just drive it all the way in with Dr. J. Because he is freaking good at doing that. At start of the second quarter, I forget. I was wondering why Surge was on the bench. I forget we're starting Wilt Chamberlain. So, Wilt did great first quarter. I think he had like eight points, three rebounds. Killer first quarter. So, see what we can do here and see if we can get something done. All right, see, how come when he drives, he gets the fouls? I got clobbered by like three guys. That didn't happen. I'm thinking something was up. <laughs> Shut up! Going back out here, see if we can get another pick and fade. I love the pick and fades. I'm big into that. There we go, George Mike and shot. Oh, God damn it. Bucket, I might have to call five out because frankly, that's what happens. All right, there we go. Ibaka, shoot that three. Of course he misses because you can't make wide open shots in this damn game. Hell, I think he is. He definitely is. Out to Kobe. Green lights. Kobe. As long as you make it, God, when he doesn't green, I think it's not going in. 
collapsed in this second quarter as far as getting a steal going. But see if I can get... Oh, got him running in. Beast in it, Beast in. Take that poster, KG. Damn. We are struggling right now. Stockton, little green shot. Dude, why am I... I can't make shots right now. That's just what we're doing. We don't get a foul when we drive, but this guy's gotten at least four when he's drive. I don't know what the hell is happening right now. And I can't hold on to the ball. Things are going great. On right there, we need to get something going. Got nine seconds left. I see Amari beating Garnett. God, what is that, our first bucket in the second half or second quarter? All right, guys, update at halftime. Ten points for Will Chamberlain. Seven rebounds, four of 11. Man, we are shooting just awful right now. And I don't know what's going I mean... No, 35%, 8 of 23, 7 turnovers. This guy is just spamming his little square every time I get a freaking rebound. So the center is stolen it from me like four times. But we just need to be better, man. Pay attention. Make sure we're not throwing stupid passes. Um, I'm not going to blame it all on my opponent and act like I haven't done a bunch of stupid stuff myself. But it's definitely very infuriating. Um, and what I just got to see the fouls. What are the fouls? We have more fouls than him. I don't, okay, whatever. Well, I don't feel like we do. Let's see what we can do in the second half. All right, start of the third quarter, man. We just need to focus up, get our charisma back together, get our charisma. I'm pretty sure that was the wrong word choice, but get things back together. We'll be all right. Up to J.R. Smith. I might have to go all the way in, actually, into Amari. Got him jumping there, and one, yes! Finally. Patience. Patience. Good things will come. We're throwing it up. To J.R. Smith, look it over to Johnny S. Johnny S, maybe a three? Johnny S, I don't know why everyone says Johnny S is so good. He never makes jack dick for me. You little sissy boy! You're a child. I will try and get things... Dude, I don't even know what's happening right now. Just take your little jump shot. There we go. He's got a 72, I think, at the short range. And he's already got a double-double, so that's a good thing. We'll stop it. We'll pop it. There we go. Amari, let's get back in this game. Four-point game. All right, great rebound right there. Throwing it up to Kobe. Looking over to the doctor. The doctor's about to operate. And one, no. And at least we get a foul finally on a shot. Going right up to the doctor again. If Sidman Creep would get out of my freaking way. Oh, my God. Dude, I tell you, the Dr. J is li really glitchy. All right, good steal right there. Throwing right up to Sidney Moncrief. He's too fast for Alonzo Mourning. Get out of my face, though. Coming all the way in. Back out to Moncrief. Moncrief probably could have had... Uh, wow, I didn't even see the shot was running down. Nice, nice. Wasted possession. All right, start of the fourth quarter. We have come back a long ways. We're only down four, man. We just need to watch turnovers, and I think we can pull this one out. All the way around here. Sidman Creep might get all the way in here. Oh, open shot for Kobe. Oh, it looked like a... Oh, wow, it was a good shot. I don't know why I can't green with him right now. See if we can get the post fade here. Get a nice little post fade. Pick and fade, if you will. Three. Dr. J, shoot it. What are you doing? Why doesn't the button ever register, damn it? It's such a joke, bro. Such a joke. I don't know what kind. I mean, defense is smothered. Can we make that one? Yes. George Mikan. Thank you. <laughs> he gets Brandon Roy on him. Perfect. Get. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Back in. Get over Brandon Roy. Thank you. You're a small fry. Thank you, though. Another freaking. Uh. Oh, there we go. Terrence Ross on the runner. I'm looking. Oh, my God. Back into Will. Will Chamberlain. Faced in it. Faced in. Let's go. Down to the wire here. I had to take out Will for just a second. He was pretty tired. So want to watch for that. Kobe Bryant getting all the way in. Gets just the stuff. A block dunk. As easy as Matumbo just putting his hand out and waving to the crowd. Four problem. Okay. Mountain Mars. <laughs> Mari Stoudemire looking out. Throwing it out to Mikan. Looking over to Moncrief. Moncrief should be able to burn Matumbo. Can we get an one? No. But at least we get buckets. Pretty stupid there. He went for like a moving three-pointer. Oh, Dr. J getting in there to operate. And one! The doctor is here to freaking operate. All right, Dr. J's got to make these. Clutch free throw by the doctor. Right, seeing we can bring it in. Looking at Will Chamberlain. Got them both jumping. There we go. Is that game? Oh, what did we do that for? Why? Is because you're a dumbass. <laughs> Good rebound. That's a clutch rebound. Will Chamberlain saves the game. And he's got to nail it with some free throws for his cherry. But it all comes down to this. All our hard work of fighting back to get back in this game comes down to this. He's not even at the three-point line, but he's going to make it. He's going to make it. Oh, I knew it. All right, we got one play left. One play left. Can we make something happen here? 
Throw it over to Ibaka. Ibaka's gonna get the shot off. Not even close. We're going into overtime. God damn it. Well, we let Steve Francis get back in this game. Get him back in this game. And now we're in overtime. Three minutes to try and close off what we couldn't close off. I feel like freaking Clayton Kershaw right now. That was so disgusting. Alright, throwing it in to Johnny S. Johnny S coming all the way in. Feeding the Will Chamberlain. There we go. Good start. All right, great rebound. Dude, he, Will Chamberlain's literally grabbing every rebound. J.R. Smith, good shot. Not good enough. He still makes it. Let's go. Okay, try and get something going here. See if we can maybe get something going here. Throwing it out to the Will Chamberlain. who's coming all the way. Good God. Flagrant one. Get him the hell out of here. Seconds left. I cannot collapse here. I cannot collapse here. Oh, over to Terrence Ross. Wide open, Terrence Ross. You better make that. How do you not make that, Terrence Ross? See if I can back down Matumbo. I can. Will it give me the animation? It does. Thank you, Will Chamberlain. Good steal. That's game. That is game. All right, 10 seconds left. I can't risk Will missing free throws. I, I got to bury this guy. Good steal. That's game. That's game. Two, one. Dr. J. Do it in. That's fine. I don't care. Dink out. This guy was an absolute nightmare. But again, shout out to my opponent. Yo, this Will Chamberlain is absolutely nuts. He definitely went beyond stuffing the stats. He almost had a 20-20, which I don't even know is possible in an unlimited game. But he got as close as you could. Let's check him out. All right, guys, checking out the stats. 23 points, 18 rebounds. Like I said, he was that close to getting the 20-20. One assist, two steals, one block. Did not do well, man. I just... I don't know. I just am not the greatest with post players. And it's I feel like I feel like post fades are not as great as they used to be. They were pretty OP last year. They're definitely not as good this year. But guys, he is a great traditional center. The main pros for this card, speed, size, offense inside the inside the paint. The really the only thing that stinks is he's kind of got a lower free throw, but it's easy release. So if you can even consider that a con. And really doesn't have any type of shooting. He does have a mid-range at a 70, so he can make it, but can't stretch the floor. Uh, and I mean, really, just that, I mean, that would really be the only thing is you couldn't, like, five out or anything with him, which is becoming, it looks like, a big trend in this year's game because of the blow-by animations. So, I don't know. I mean, he is definitely a monster, though. He is definitely a monster. Grabs so many rebounds, so many rebounds. I mean, it's hard to find any cons with him. You really have to be nitpicky to find any. But um, his price right now is about 280, 300. I saw him as low as 200, but I guess people are. I don't know. The market's so weird with how it fluctuates like that. I don't know how it can go over a, almost a full 100k from being so low, but uh, it did. So. Um, on a 1 to 10, I am going to give him a solid 9.5 just because there were minor flaws with him. Um, he definitely saved us in some key critical moments. Um, and then I'm not going to do a gameplay on him, but guys, this Dr. J is actually really good for his price. Um, I think he's only like 40k, something like that, and I like him a lot. And with the coach and his shoe, you can actually get his three-point shot up to an 80, which is makeable. It's makeable, so definitely consider that Julius Irving. I would probably give him like an 8 out of 10. Um, but this Doc, this uh, Will Chamberlain, definitely very good. I would try and pick him up in the lower 200s if you can. If you can find it, try and get him in like the 220s. I really wouldn't pay more than 260. 280, I didn't feel comfortable with, but I did it for you guys. Um, 260 and below is where I'm going to see you guys want to spend on this card. Unless you're really trying to get that Ray Allen, which... I don't know. I'm still kind of debating about it. Yes, the Ray Allen might be good, but I got to think long term because you got to think on how much MT you're actually investing into that Ray Allen. And will the Ray Allen be, a, you know, like a, a game ending card? I don't know. Ray Allen's very good this year, but I mean, if they're only given minor stats, like this is a peak diamond. He got three Hall of Fame badges. How many, Ray, how many Hall of Fame badges is Ray Allen going to get? Five? Maybe? Maybe four. I don't know. They're just being super stingy with badges. So, I mean, until I see some really good stats on this Ray Allen, which we haven't gotten yet, I don't know if this set is worth it yet. I still don't think it'll be worth it no matter what his stats are. But, you know, it's up to you guys. It's your money. It's your MT. Do what you want. So, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay. If you did, leave the video a thumbs up.
subscribe button if you're new. I got a Diamond Terrence Ronts video coming back. We got him finally upgraded to that diamond. So that should be a fun gameplay. So appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new. Richie Nation. Party on.